Hi, this is our steel engineering. In this video, we are going to see how the temperature sensor is connected to the ESP32. Uh, the simulation is done in uh, walkv.com. Uh, here, the temperature sensor uh, ground is connected to the ground terminal and VCC it is connected to the 5 volt and temperature uh, here to um, no connection and then another one is SDA connection signal data that is coming to the 25. So, in the uh, program, uh, I have defined that uh, temperature sensor pin is 25 and then here uh, selected uh, DHT 22 because in the uh, components DHT uh, 22 only available. So, we are using this uh, DHT 22. So, the coding is available in the website. So, you can check the code, uh, you can get the code from the website itself. Now, uh, here the header file, uh, even if you are copying all the code, the header file we have to add it in the library manager. So, go to this library manager, here click plus and then here you can search the DHT. First, you can check add a fruit, ok. So, here we will come out. Uh, DHT sensor library, uh, library and then DHT 22. So, we can check DHT 22. So, this one you can enable and then DHT sensor library. So, sensor library. So, these two library you have to add it. So, already I have added. Otherwise, you click it then it will be added in our project library. So, that is the first uh, step you have to do it. What are the library you need it? Otherwise, it will show error. So, uh, here uh, you have to uh, click on this sketch. So, library after adding these two library, you click on this uh, sketch and this is the code. So, which pin number you define it and then which type of temperature sensor that is also you have to define. Then this is the code. Uh, so, DHT, small DHT, DHT pin and type you have to mention and then serial dot begin, serial print line. So, the temperature uh, sensor will be tested here it will begin. So, because we have used the header file, so whatever the code line it will be taken from the head, uh, header file only already written code. Then loop delay and we are writing H as the humidity and T is the temperature and F is the uh, tra temperature. Uh, here um, we will heat, heat we will get it. So, first one humidity, add the, uh, next one is uh, temperature and then last one is uh, heat index we can get. It. So, here this is the conversion of that uh, heat index. So, from F and H we will get the heat index. So, this value will be uh, measured here in our uh, display, we will get that output. So, now run the simulation. So, here, here we can change the temperature. So, 46.4. So, whatever temperature you, are, you want, just change it, you will get the temperature. Uh, similarly, you will get the humidity also. So, simply same thing you can uh, realize in the hardware uh, implementation also. So, same code as well as the uh, same uh, connection you can do it. Then when temperature is high or low, you can use some indicator either buzzer or LED. So, that uh, when temperature increases above threshold value, you can go for, uh, uh, it will indicate the, the output uh, that is uh, uh, you can connect LED or buzzer so that it will get the output. So, this is the code, this code is available uh, in the website. So, you can get that uh, coding part from the website. So, this is the coding for this temperature sensor. Thank you.